What's up you guys? So hopefully I don't look too terrible. Um, I am very tired, honestly. I did not sleep very well last night. I basically uh, spent the night at my friend Cody's house and um, uh, like I said in my previous video, we've been kind of talking. We've been knowing each other for a few years now, but we'll go like a few years or even months without talking sometimes and then we'll just catch back up. But um, I don't know, I would describe our relationship as like friends with benefits, to be honest with you. Um, the thing about it is that respectfully, he's a cool guy and everything, you know, uh, but uh, last night we basically got into it um, basically over me telling him that I wanted to sleep on a couch, you know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, his response to that was, well, I don't give a S, you know, I don't give a ish what, you know, like that's that was his response and like you can just tell from his demeanor that as soon as i brought up the fact that i like didn't intend on like sleeping with him in his bed uh like i was gonna sleep on the couch he just his whole demeanor changed you guys and that is not cool at all and um you know i normally wouldn't even speak about anything privately like that but it's just like let me tell you something you know i've told this person in the past something that I've struggled with about like with dating and stuff like that and they basically use that I feel like to throw it on my like to throw it back on me and say oh well I think you just think everybody wants you just you know to hit the hay and I'm like no dude it's not what I think is what people show me it's I go by actions I'm a person of actions I'm a guy of actions I don't like to talk I like to just do it walk the walk you know what i'm saying but anyway uh so you guys i'm just it was very annoying to say the least um it was just so late so and i was so really tired and i was just dealing with like kind of a little bit of anxiety because today uh marks the new start of a new chapter in my life basically and i instead of us celebrating it instead of us like celebrating that we're sitting there arguing <laughs> And then he got mad because he basically, I went to the bathroom, came out the bathroom, right? Just to give you some context and everything's dark. Like he literally turned off all the lights. And that to me, that's like, it's kind of like a temper tantrum. You know what I'm saying? Like we were, we're walking upstairs from the basement. I tell you that I like don't really intend to sleep on a couch or on a bed. So from then on, you not only just race upstairs. As soon as I get in the bathroom, you turn off all the lights and like, it's like bedtime or something you know what i mean it's like weird and then he fell he blamed that on me in a way and was like oh well you didn't even ask me if i was okay <laughs> which i did i had i just waited because i was like it's clown sh clownish you guys like you know what i'm saying point blank you know again <laughs> i'd say it to him in his face but you know there's no point because i feel like it's just we're both very defensive and I'm not an angel by any means, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, that I dealt with last night. So it was very annoying to say the least. And I was just like, I don't know. Anyway, so you guys, um, I feel great today. Other than that, I, other than being really tired, um, like I said, I slept over this place. I basically got up in the morning, uh, didn't really sleep well uh, and left. And um, I came back home. I got dressed. Um, I wanted to wear this shirt because it's one of my favorite shirts to wear and I just feel good with it, you know? And um, I don't normally dress up very often, but I'm just wearing this shirt and uh, tucked in with some jeans. Um, and that's about it, you know? And I just, like I said, I'm celebrating a new chapter in my life today. And uh, basically today I am no longer uh, with my modeling agency and my manager, uh, I am 100% solo. So everything that I do, everything from my uh, fan page to what I post on Instagram to what I post on uh, YouTube is up to me now. And every call that I make is on me, everything. And I, you guys, I absolutely love that. Um, I basically just feel like that was the best decision that I could have ever made um, for myself, for my well-being, uh, for my like everything, for my uh, mental health, 
uh especially you know and i've just it's weird because i'm basically going through another change in my life at the moment unfortunately that i don't want to really talk about at this moment because it's just a lot uh but basically it's bittersweet because i'm dealing with that and then i'm feeling great because of this day you know i knew this day was coming like i said april 5th and um you know it's just a lot it's just like oh my gosh it's just a lot of different emotions and the last night like i said i had i instead of like having a good time and celebrating with my friend um like we got into it over him like you know just expecting me to sleep in his bed and like i guess let's be real we're all adults right you know what i'm saying is i think he expected to have fun for real <laughs> like he can say all this s and say oh you just think that people will just want you for that no dude and i've told him this we've talked about this before and i'm like look yeah i'm an adult too you know i you know we both start stuff but it's like point blank is if we hang out every single time and that's all we do and i don't know you guys it's whatever you know it you can hang out with people and they could be like your soulmate and that's all you can do is just have fun uh intimately right and that could be great but at the same time um <sighs> that's not all what life is about and basically if that's all you expect if that's all that that excites you is just the fact that that's gonna happen you're gone like i don't want no part of it you like you're not gonna <laughs> use me for entertainment or for a good time because i damn well know what i'm worth you guys i know what i'm worth i know what i have to offer i'm a very smart outgoing ambitious guy uh with that being said it's just like don't try me you know what i'm saying don't try me i'm 32 years old i know all the thirsty books in a game or i know all the thirsty games in a book uh so it's just like don't even try it because before you even say anything I already looked into your intentions. I already looked into what you're probably going to want. So it's just not going to work. So keep on moving because this one ain't for free. I don't just go around sleeping with everybody that I talk to and want to date. You know, it's just that's not who I am. I know uh, everyone in the world nowadays, it's just like that. You know, they just test drive it for anything. But not me not all the time you know what i'm saying let's be real let's be honest i you know who doesn't like to have a good time right who doesn't like to be intimate intimacy is very important in your life in general to your well-being too you know what i'm saying but it's not all there's to life and i have a lot more substance um than to just wanting a good time and um so anyway you guys i don't want to make this video extremely long but that's basically what's been going on that's what I'm dealing with. Um, that's what I'm uh, or was dealing with because I don't choose to deal with that mess uh, right now. Like I said, I'm, I'm focused on growing my social media platforms. I really want to go back to where it was to, which is exploring, uh, camping, hiking, going to gay campgrounds all over the country that are clothing optional and sharing that with you guys and putting that in videos, putting that in photos. I do my own photography, I do my own videography. I just, I don't know what else to say. I feel so ambitious. I feel happier than I've ever been in my life the past two years. Um, it's been really emotional. I've been extremely down and anxiety and all of that I've dealt with uh, before all this happened. And I just, I don't wish that upon anybody. Many sleepless nights. Um, Real quick, I I did get sick while all this was happening at the same time. This was like a few weeks ago. So it was just it was just a lot, you guys. Like I I don't ever look for sympathy, but there was times where I just literally just cried for myself. I know it sounds weird, but it's just like I was like, damn, you know, like I told myself, like, you know, I'm sorry you're dealing with all this mess. Like you don't you're better than this, you know what I'm saying? And you're gonna get through all this mess and um sometimes the storm might feel like a hurricane because it lasts longer than a few days a few weeks but let me tell you is that storm is eventually going to go away because it's going to lose its power because you're more stronger than it so 
that's it you guys uh thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like i appreciate you guys uh supporting me don't forget to follow me on my social medias uh instagram uh facebook twitter it's all alex gervasio so once again you guys i appreciate all your support and i'll see you guys in the next video